Well, here he is. This is the big stag I shot earlier in the year, late March, just before the roar. Really happy with him. And as you can see, he's got beautiful stained up antlers. But unfortunately, because I shot him so early in the year, uh, just when he was rubbed out, just stripping the velvet, um, he obviously didn't have time to really absorb all the tannins and stuff into those antlers. So when I was cleaning the skull, as you can see here, he lost a lot of the colour. Had it outside when I was boiling it, soaking it into some water to get it really clean. Happy with how the skull came out, but yeah, disappointed that I lost a lot of that natural colour. So I had to do a little bit of research how I was going to bring it back to life. Uh, I know a few guys use like a varnish. I contemplated using actual trees and dirt and stuff to get a real natural colour, but after doing some reading online, ended up settling on this stuff which is called Pertassium Permanganate, KMNO4. Um, interesting product, comes in, in a powder form, and you just mix it with water, and then brush it onto the antlers uh, using a paintbrush. Got some sandpaper there for the final stage. So this was the first step, really important especially if you've done the skull nice and clean like I have, get them completely, get the skull completely protected. So I've just used a plastic bag here, whacked it on, and then got some, some masking tape. Just tape right around under the base of the kinets there. It really does stain up, so if you get this stuff on the skull, you're gonna be in for a world of hurt. So take the time to get that right. Next step is to mix up the solution. Make sure you get some gloves on. It's pretty nasty stuff. Actually, I don't know how nasty it is, but it stains. So even if you get it on your hands, you're gonna end up with brown hands. So I wanted to keep it pretty natural how I, how the stag was when I first took him, uh, he didn't have super, it was kind of like a, a light brown sort of coloration and I wanted to try to mimic that as much as I could so I ended up doing quite a weak solution to begin with, it was just a teaspoon and I think, uh, what does it say here, mm, yeah I think it was half a litre of water but anyway have a play around with it, you can kind of see how much I've got there. This ended up being not dark enough. So I ended up having to do quite a few coats and I ended up chucking in a little bit more of the potassium permanganate. Quite interesting because when you mix it up, it's really purple as you can see there. And you start second guessing yourself whether you're gonna end up with a giant purple people eater instead of a golden brown stag but rest assured it does dry uh, that nice brown colour so as you can see here a little bit sped up but just applying it where it was needed as you can see there as it starts to tack off you can already see it going that nice coffee colour but not quite enough so Just keep going until you get it how you want it. Some people like a really dark coloured antler. I would suggest that you probably don't go the whole hog straight away. It's a little bit time consuming, but you don't want to take it too far because you, then you can't take it back. So just layer it up. I found it quite therapeutic. quite purple there with the fresh coat it's getting much closer to how I wanted it but still not quite enough 
So I decided to give it one last coat. To get it just right. As you can see there, it's come up nice and dark. And then come back with the sandpaper, which is pretty much the last step. Just to bring those tips nice and pearly white again and get that marbling on all the different levels of the antlers. Wet rag right at the end just to take all the dust off. And here's the finished product. Oh, I'm gonna die.